We're mobile. Take Fox Sports 1350 with you using iHeartRadio. It's the IE's home for sports. KPWK AM 1350, Riverside, San Bernardino. An iHeartRadio station. This is Robert Littell for BlackSportsOnline.com, and I'm out here with Fox 1350. We are Fox Sports. Yes, we are live in the great city of Riverside at the iHeartRadio studios. It's IE Sportsnet, protected by the Riverside Sheriff's Association. I am your host, Eternal. And I am the one and only Coach B. You know, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, all the conversation starts and stops here. Make sure you follow us on FoxSports1350.com. Great night last night for local football. Uh, really was. Uh, for that, Okay, there. We got right. We're going to get to that real quick, Holla. <laughs> Holla's hilarious. Uh, no, it was a really crazy night last night, as we said. Uh, CIF football, we're getting to the uh, tail end of football here in the Inland Empire. And so uh, last night, a um, lot of football being played. And, you know, one of the things about it, like, you know, we, we've always been talking about the the new, uh, the, the Inland Empire and, and, the, and the footprint they're leaving uh, here locally in Southern California. When you're really starting to see that happen, you're starting to see a lot of teams. It was like, I want to say it was one, two, three, almost four uh, Inland Empire teams that participated last night in the CIF Southern Section uh, Championship, uh, all the way from Division 13 on up. And, um, you know, like I said, Coach B, it was just some really, really uh, competitive football being played. Uh, we got to make sure we hop into it. You want to go ahead and hop right into it, or you want to just, I don't know, what you, I mean, you let me know, man. I, you know, I want to talk about my greatness, but we can go ahead and hop into that. that that'll that be good for me. We'll talk about scores, and then we'll talk about some of the exciting things that we did this week in addition to the uh, the turkey giveaway. Yes. But the scores last night, I, I was I was excited. San G just keeps rolling, man. Well, you know, it has to be. Uh, uh, we we were around when San G uh, had did some really spe- uh, special things well, under the, uh, the tutelage, under the guidance of none other than Coach Ron Garinger. And uh, and they've really done done a great thing, really putting it on for San Bernardino. And as you suggested last night, the San Gregorio Spartans were uh, victorious uh, and won their uh, their battle. Really a tough game against Brea Olinda, and they they were able to to come up with that win, twenty one seventeen. Yes, they were. And then the uh, from Fontana, friends of the show, we have them in studio. Henry J. Kaiser Cats. They won. They beat Arcadia. 38 to 35 in the the game of the night well, for the I, Inland Empire. Go um, ahead. Yeah, but in that, in that Kaiser game, a lot of just, uh, as you were saying, that, that Kaiser game, uh, uh, some really, a lot of stuff that happened, as, as you said, uh, Fontana being a local team. Uh, one of the, the highlights of that game was Christian Hunter uh-huh. uh, took off. It uh, uh, was, was able to rush for 275 yards, and they were saying that uh, they haven't lost since August 24th since they, they lost, that they uh, tumbled against Aquinas, who was really good, uh, unfortunately lost earlier in the year. And then, um, so Four. basically, they haven't lost since they've come here. Okay. Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just. I mean, I mean, anybody out so there? So they were in studio. Yes. 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 So yes. anybody who wants to go to CIF, get the championship. Come. come you know. Like he said, if, if, if y'all, what should say? If y'all tired of, if y'all tired of, of the radio host dancing all in the video, come on down to <laughs> Sportsnet. Enough that. Uh, but no, big up to Kaiser. So like I said, they, uh, uh, Christian Hunter, you know, get, really got to make sure he puts, uh, put highlights on them. Anytime you're able to rush for 275 yards in a championship game, that really kind of shows the uh, the pedigree of that offensive line and, and as well as Mr. Hunter itself. So really big game with that. As you said, there's some other games that took place last night too, as well, Coach B. Absolutely. So, and you know, the good thing is, you know, we're sitting here looking at iesportsnet.com. One thing just for anybody who doesn't know, if you go in, in on the website in the right corner, if you actually click on the score that you're looking at, you're going to get some detailed information. So that's some of the stuff that uh, Eternal was taking a look at. So you can open up and see some of the stats and whatnot you want to see. Yes. Um, but like I said, the game of the night, uh, tough, tough loss for uh, for our guys in San Bernardino, the Cajon Cowboys. Yes, Cajon uh, really, uh, again, led by – uh, Coach Rogers uh, and uh, and uh, the state uh, one of the I gotta say the state one of the state record holders in uh, passing rushing uh, from a quarterback position uh, Jaden Daniels uh, I mean my goodness threw for 228 yards had two touchdowns and also ran for 171 yards and had two touchdowns in a loss 
And uh, also, we got to make sure we highlight EJ Gable. Had he ran for 250, uh, 215 yards, two touchdowns. As you mentioned, Cajon suffered a tough loss. It came down to the last play. Uh, they they ran a, a trick play uh, where the uh, you know and we've seen it a lot. You seen Tom Brady use it. We saw uh, um, uh, who's the coach? I mean, who's the quarterback over in Philly? I don't even know who he is. I don't even know if they even have a quarterback over there. I think it's Dak Prescott. Yeah, it was the, no in Philadelphia. All I know is Dak Prescott. I don't know anybody else. So you don't know good quarterbacks. So the quarterback. Oh, wow. oh wow. The, I, I, mean, <laughs> I, I don't know. Your team, his team, his team. Wait, wait, nobody even comes to his games. Hold on, hold on. I'm about to say nobody wait, even comes. Don't you, even start with me. Are you going to compare Dak Prescott? I'm going to compare Philip. Rivers. I'm going to compare him to the squad. Nobody. Comes okay, okay, to okay. Nobody even knows numbers. Him okay, so Thank don't. Oh, yeah, people say. know Phillip Rivers is one of the best well, quarterbacks to play the game. Nobody Come comes Nobody comes to the Chargers game. Anyway, enough said. Uh, like I said, but uh, yeah, like, you know, uh, but we were talking about. <clears throat> let me clear my throat. We were talking about uh, uh, Cajon, and it, they, they, they ran the, the option play where they passed the. They pitched the ball over to the, uh, uh, to the, to the wing back, and they throw the ball to the quarterback, and they were successful with getting the play accomplished. In terms of execution, but again, as you mentioned earlier in the show, it was a poor throw. It was, the, the throw was the throw was kind of short. Uh, so Jaden Daniels ended up catching it, but he was like two yards short. So it was basically fourth and goal. Uh, I mean, they could have got a first down, but it was close to the goal line. So they ended up losing it right there on that play, 34 to, to 30. Uh, but big, uh, great season for the, the the Cowboys of Cajones. Really put it down for San Bernardino. Great, um, great high school career for Jaden Daniels, who will now be matriculating. And he'll be moving on uh, to uh, to be- great, and bigger, and better things in the college career. The C I the yeah oh, excuse, I'm gonna say C I F the Inland Valley Sports Hall of Fame reigning player of the year, and I'm sure that, that it will be a tight vote, but I'm sure that'll be something that uh, he'll want to uh, he'll, he'll take home again. Nick Foles is the quarterback for the uh, Nick Foles uh, for the Eagles. Nick Fumble uh, Foles. And then a mediocre six and five team uh, in Dallas is they're doing okay. Um, first, so first, first so place. let's 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 keep going. First place <laughs> won't be going anywhere. <laughs> Carson went. No, no, oh, Nick you. Foles was in the Super Bowl last year. It was Nick yeah. Foles that, that uh, they yeah. did the trick I'm play. I'm sorry, you were saying? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But it was anyway, uh, Carson we, Wentz was on, we on first the side. Place. You need to be talking about us. Anyway, yeah. I'm talking. Yeah. Don't okay. get me started right now. I'm still. I'm still. But you know what? Like that, like you said, my 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 wife's nephew, like he said, they are still the defending Super Bowl champs until the next Super Bowl. So uh, Dallas can't say that. But we were saying, well, I digress. Um, so let's keep Has talking the Chargers about. Chargers won a Super Bowl. At all, that's ever? not important. Okay. We're talking about right. the Eagles right now. Okay. We're talking about sure. the Eagles right now. You know, all I know is the Chargers beat the Raiders. You so know, that's all good, that matters. It's, it's a good thing that my Cowboys won. So I'll just go ahead and just keep it there. But anyway, we're moving right along. We're talking about Inland Empire um, uh, high school football. Well, well, they got what? They're 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 six and five. So they got two more wins for the season, and they'll end eight and eight like normal. Um, but let's go ahead and let's talk about what we, we, we were saying. <laughs> eight <laughs> and eight, huh? Okay. That's about right. where they. That's about their plateau. Thank you. I appreciate. I appreciate the cricket talk. At any rate, we're talking and about. But G Holla, who's your team again? We're talking um, about Inland Empire football. We're talking about, we're talking about Inland, Inland Empire football. Thank you very much, Inland Empire football. And, and one of the well, other today games, I got time. One of the other games that took place was Orange Vista, friend of the show, uh, our guy Coach Zamal, and they played a really tough Altadena team up. Uh, you know, in in our in our northern area, northern. San, I guess that's still San, Ber- San Bernardino. I, I I imagine correct. Where's that? Altadena? Out? No, Altadena's by Pasadena. No, well, wait, hold on a second. Let I think see. they they played. They, they didn't play Alonso. Alon- 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 I don't know why yes. I want to keep saying that after the Altadena. <laughs> yeah, they played Alonso. Alon- 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 again. Yeah, that's the high desert. High desert. Uh, high, 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 high desert. Uh, but they, they they made the trip down, and uh, they played. Uh, and, again, this was uh, this was at the brand-new field, great field, over at Orange Vista, as we said. Uh, Coach Zamont, one of the Zamont brothers. Um, and they had a very, very competitive football game. Unfortunately, they did fall uh, the uh, Orange Vista. Actually. This is only like their second or third year, correct? Really, yeah. Their, their second year with a football program. And I want to say, because, um, uh, you know, you, you figure this is going to be their first graduating class. Mm-hmm. So they, they started with they started with sophomore, freshman and sophomore. So, so they, they've been around roughly about two years. So brand new field. The field was just built in September. Of this year, and uh, again, really hats off to that program. Really, a, a great program. They do a great. I, I've, I've been able to see it there. Their offense is really high powered. A lot of people thought that they weren't really going to be uh, stopped. Uh, you know, uh, again, in, in Division Thirteen, but they really do a great job. Uh, but again, um, Adelanto came up with the big win. <clears throat> excuse me, uh, on the road was able to go uh, into uh, Paris, California, and take down uh, the. Um, 
the orange vista. I want to say they're the Coyotes, if I'm not mistaken. And the football doesn't stop there. We still have another huge night of football. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Bloomington Christian uh, is still in, in there. They're going to be playing Hesperia Christian, another high desert team. I mean, in high, Highland Bulldogs, don't, not to be confused by Highland, California, this Highland team is actually out in Palmdale. Uh, they're going to be taking on Ike. It's good to see Ike uh, let me back you, in the run. I was about to say, I am so excited about Eisenhower. Uh, you know, this is a school, when we talk, like, again, when you and I were coming up, I mean, Eisenhower was the perennial power. Like, when you talked about San Bernardino uh, uh, or Rialto, you know, because I know they don't like to be, <laughs> they, had, they had their own planet out there in uh, in, in uh, uh, Eisenhower. But at any rate, uh, when you talk about that program, for years they've really been on the back burner and they haven't really been – as high, our regal. Um, they haven't really been as high strung, but uh, but again, Eisenhower has come back. I mean, just been. Ro- I think they're undefeated. Yeah, Ike is undefeated. I want to say they they're are. undefeated. And so, big shout out to the Eagles. Um, uh, they have just been really, really doing some great things. So I'm really excited for that program and for that school. I know everybody over there and uh, and Rialto is really excited about them as well. It's going to be a huge game because the team that they're playing, like I said, the uh, the high, uh, Highland the football. Bulldogs. They are 13 and 0 as well. Oh wow! So so you look at that matchup. That's that, going to be a huge matchup, and that's going to be at Eisenhower. Is that correct? Yes. So I believe it's going to be at Eisenhower. I'll pull it up. Just it says a. I don't know why this, it says a neutral site, but then it says yeah. someone's home field, which well, is which well, is it's, it's well, it's it's in our area. We'll, we'll say it's in the inland. That's Empire. Division Ten. The Division Ten. Yes. 10. Division Ten uh, uh-huh. football being played, and so yeah, we're really excited about that. Uh, but the big shout out to Ike that we're getting down tonight, and uh, you no, know, again, we'll we'll definitely uh, be looking out for that for that game. Another game, and I got a chance to see these guys play. Really, really talented. I mean, they got some athletes over there. San Jacinto, really. Just, I mean, and again, they took down uh, they took down Notre Dame. I mean, Notre Dame, really, really competitive. Have a brand new coach came out from Servite, and I came there to see Notre Dame win actually. And let me tell you, I was just really blown away by the talent that they have over there at San Jacinto. Really are geared up, and they got a big time game tonight against Culver City, uh, the uh, Senators, and uh, they're going to be going. They're going to be uh, again uh, traveling uh, into the Inland Empire. What to take, is a Senator? I imagine one of the things with one eye or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I've never it, heard of. It, such it sounds a like thing. something I seen on T or He Man or something like that. Before. It's almost like Luzinger. <laughs> Luzinger are the Olympians. Oh, there like, you go. Yeah, that's that's, like, that's wicked. Yeah, well, it's better than Tar Baby, I guess. You know. Well, depends. Define. No, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> right. We'll just leave that alone. Hey, don't, uh, don't be talking about Compton High School. Compton man. High School. That's my Com- mother's school now. Say, yeah, <laughs> calm down, player. Right. <laughs> You're like, won't you stop that? Yeah, now. I don't want her coming here. Right, right, you know? right. Folks are listening. Folks are listening. But again, no, it's going to be a huge night for uh, for um, uh, Inland Empire High School football. And again, we're just really excited just to be in the conversation. For many a years, we weren't even in the conversation. But again, now teams like Hesperia Christian will be playing Highland. Uh, excuse me, Highland. Uh, Eisenhower, San Jacinto will be taking place, and as well as the, the the juggernaut game, as you said tonight. The big one. The, the big, big one dogs. at seven thirty. They even put it at seven thirty. So that way, everybody can. It's a TV game. It's a TV game. Yeah. So that Upland Highlanders, and again, this team we've seen, we've seen them on the field in the grass, as good as advertised, and they got a chance to see his Rancho Verde as well. But they'll be taking on the undefeated Rancho Verde Mustangs. I got a chance to chat to the defensive coordinator, Coach Reeder, earlier today, and he's really excited. He's fired up. He, his lip was quivering there while I was go. talking to him. He was a little emotional. There you so. go. So a centaur, we've all seen it. It's the it's the it's the it's the uh you know the mythological uh, beast that's half human, half horse. Ah. So we've seen. So that I ah. had no idea that was called a centaur. Oh, so well, now we know. Well, I, I was I was going for the cyclops. I think that's uh, what I was going yeah, for. The, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. So but I, I think that's going to be a huge game. Yes, that's going to be a huge game. And then you know we I know we're going to take a quick commercial break. When yes. we get back, we have to talk about the work. Uh, that we did with that turkey giveaway. And also, I would be remiss if I didn't say, you know, uh, Coach Davis at Etiwanda, has, uh, he's he stepped down. And we just want to thank him for the three yes. three or four years that we worked with him. My goodness. It's been a class act. We appreciate everything we did with uh, with Coach Davis and those Etiwanda Eagles. Well, you know, uh, and again, just on that on that note, um, a lot of we, – we've got a chance to, to be in the company of a lot of great coaches and, 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 and really a coach that's done a lot. Um, what I can say – is, is about Coach Davis is really, really about his kids, about about his players. Was really concerned about how they conducted themselves right. on and off the field, and uh, really wanted to see Etowan to get back to a good place in terms of their he football was an alumni. program. Alumni, so it was really important to him to get back. And unfortunately, he wasn't able to kind of get him over that hump. Uh, to me, that they they played really competitive, and you can see his heart was in the right place. 
Uh, but again, obviously, uh, you know, some decisions were made, and he made a decision that was best for the program as well as I'm, I'm sure itself personally and his and he, family. And his yeah. family. So he made a decision to go ahead and step down. So right, right. So yeah, we appreciate we we'll, we'll, we appreciate him. We'll have to reach out to him and see if we can get him in once once it does settle. Yes, we'll see if we can get him in here and, no and, and talk a little bit about what's going on. With those Etiwanda Eagles, yes, um, and then we'll keep it, we'll keep it pushing. But we're always in a good company of coaches. I mean, Coach B is here every week. But uh, um, do you have a record? <laughs> about, okay, about to say, no, I do a, not. I, my, I am clean. No, I'm uh, talking about a football record. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we don't want to discuss that. Right. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a commercial break. You are listening to IE Sportsnet, protected by the Riverside Sheriff's Association with Coach B and Eternal. When it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here, live on Fox Sports 1350. You're listening to IESportsNet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority. Paid non-attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto and Prodexa users. If you or a loved one has taken the blood thinning drugs Zarelto or Prodexa and suffered an injury or even died, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. Zarelto and Prodexa Dexa have been linked to internal bleeding, strokes, and pulmonary embolisms. If you or a loved one has taken these blood thinning drugs and have been hospitalized for internal bleeding, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Don't be a silent victim. Time is limited to file your claim. Call now for free information and a free consultation. Lines are open 24 7. Call 800 282 8605. That's 800 282 8605. 800 282 8605. You could be entitled entitled to substantial financial compensation call 800-282-8605 now all right guys we're ready for our four season sunroom and daddy's gonna get a rec room with refreshments oh no we'll be sleeping under the stars mom what about the one with you know the fun nice try little bro it's a gym my gym hey grandma's getting her four seasons garden room weather tight and still like being outdoors maybe a living room oh no wait a family hub yeah no matter what the budget the season or the climate Four Seasons Sunrooms let you and your family enjoy the outdoors inside. Call now to hear more about these great offers from the premier manufacturer of sunrooms since 1975. More reasons for four seasons now. To find out more, call toll-free 800-973-5533. That's 800-973-5533. Call 800-973-5533 today. Score Sports has been a loyal partner in the sports industry for over 40 years. Founded in 1975, Score Sports has always been a family-owned and operated business located in the heart of Southern California. They offer a full line of youth and adult soccer uniforms, accessories, and field equipment youth and adult basketball uniforms and accessories and equipment. Score Sports can outfit your coaches and league referees as well, and much more. Their dedication and attention to detail has transformed Score Sports into one of the leading sport uniform manufacturers in the United States. Visit their spacious warehouse at 726 East Anaheim Street in Wilmington, or call them today at 800-626-7774. That's 800-626-7774 or visit them on the web at scoresports.com. That's scoresports.com at facebook.com slash scoresports. Or on Twitter and Instagram with the handle scoresports. That's S-C-O-R-E-S-P-O-R-T-S. Hey, football fans. Leave the Hail Marys for the game and go for the sure thing when it comes to satisfying your craving. When you pick up Raisin Cane's for game day, all you have to worry about is the score because we've got the food covered with fresh, never, ever frozen chicken fingers, cane sauce, and jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. Our chicken fingers are always hand-battered and cooked to order, so no matter the score, you'll always win. Raisin Cane's Chicken Fingers, one love. Box combo, please. At Raisin Cane's, we're all about quality. We mix cane sauce in our restaurants every day, and our chicken is hand-battered and cooked to order. Our Texas toast is grilled with just the right amount of butter and garlic. And our lemonade is always freshly squeezed. Love the window. And why do we do all this? Because it makes a difference. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, one love. What's up, world? This is your favorite comic, favorite comic, Tony Rock. 
Locked in, you're checking out Fox Sports. We are Fox Sports. Yes, we are back. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be here all night long. All, all night, night long, strong. moving and grooving. <laughs> uh, no, Calling your request right now. It's a smooth <laughs> jazz. It's a smooth <laughs> Under the weather mix. Uh, we are live right here in the great city of Riverside at the iHeartRadio studios. It's IE Sportsnet, protected by the Riverside Sheriff's Association. I am your host, Eternal. You know, I don't appreciate you not having to look at the reads. Mm, I just do do. We've done this man. five years, and I still have to look at the reads. And I am the one and only Coach B. You know, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops here. Follow us on FoxSports1350.com. Clockwork, I got to give some uh, shout-outs, man. Uh, Shout-out to my man, uh, Real estate extraordinaire Anthony Tyson, my man Adrian Claiborne. I see, I saw the referee get down. Uh, we do need referees. Uh, Coach B just sat there and told me we do need refs, right? Yeah, Coach? man, because you know, some some of the, I don't appreciate some of the words that you use when we talk when you disrespect uh, the Los Angeles Chargers. So, thank you. I'm sticking it, I'm sticking it. Yeah, that's that's how I feel about your Chargers. Can't even sell out a twenty thousand. Seats, oh, man. Seats, soccer stadium. Get me started. Anyway, uh, moving and grooving. Uh, we, there was some basketball being played last night. Big shout-out to the MLK. The Kawhi Leonard alma mater. Uh, MLK, Martin Luther King Jr., as Kobe like to say. Uh, Wolves played last night. Yes, sir. Got a victory against La Mirada and uh, beat them last night in basketball competition, 54-46. to 46. A uh, lot of basketball being played, but Coach B, we are talking about, uh, we just concluded the holiday weekend, Thanksgiving. Coach B, uh, something that was really near and dear to your heart, got a chance to really go out and uh, uh, touch the community, get out there with the community, really excited about that. Uh, Coach B, talk to us about, man, I mean, let's break this thing out, man. We got a chance to really hang out uh, last week. Big, big deal, man. Right, right, absolutely. So, you know, I, I like the fact that I showed up just at, no, no. Kidding. It was it was a, an event that you know the thing is is, is and we have to do this because it's almost the end of the year. Yes, uh, we have to uh, plan our schedule of events and the turkey giveaway is one of the things that we talked about and uh, and I appreciate uh, Mr. Russell Ingo oh because I, I open up the newspaper and what I see a picture of my you know so I saw a picture of myself. Uh, right there in the Fontana Herald. Saw a picture of myself by myself. There you go. There you go. I was, I was, I was referencing the Eminem line. I know but uh, it's all good. You I, know. I got it. I got it. Uh, but uh, I appreciate him doing that story on on us. What we did is we did a turkey giveaway. Not one day. We did two days. Over a, over a course of two days. Correct. We were in Riverside as well as San Bernardino, and we were giving away turkeys, and we appreciate the help from the uh, Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers One Love. And then the Boys and Girls Club of Redlands and, and Riverside, who made this possible. Yes, and then uh, and again, the we were it, it wouldn't really happen uh, without the participation of from, myself. Uh, okay, like you said, <laughs> like you said, you, you did very, very your your, your your workload was minimal, but you did. My, my man did go out there turkey it down. He was looking like man. Santa I Claus. had. My deep freezer was stuffed yes. with turkeys. So, so shout out to Coach B and, and Miss Coach B. Yeah, shout out or, to Brandy because she was all stressing because she couldn't get her own turkey. Yeah, she couldn't get her own turkey, so we made sure she got her own turkey. But uh, no, we, uh, as you were, <clears throat> excuse me, as you're alluding to, uh, got a chance to work with the Riverside Rams. Uh, big shout out to those guys. Uh, shout out to Summit, the Skyhawks basketball team, Coach Romanali, and uh, they came out, uh, got a chance to go out there. They they assisted us in um, uh, uh, distributing the bags. And what was in those bags, Coach B? So in the bags, we had a turkey, of course. Um, we had the gravy. We had the mashed potatoes. We had green beans, which you and Brandy just had, had to. to have. Gotta I have just, some greens, uh, dude. What are you It's like, my goodness. And then we had cornbread as well. And then, you know, I asked the people as they came up, are you going to eat your cornbread? Mm. And they did. They and did. They, and they, 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 they ate that cornbread. Yeah, they uh, ate that cornbread. Uh, but yeah, and no. then a, a grocery bag. And we gave yes. them a reusable, got, uh, got, a, a recyclable uh, grocery bag, which is which, which is a big deal. Don't don't get. I mean, we we will be remiss about that. Uh, we don't we don't point that out. But no, it was really a great thing. We really had a, a wonderful time. Uh, if you guys want to check, oh, the video, and stuffing, stuffing, and, and mac yes. and cheese. Oh yeah, stuffing what, and mac and cheese. What am been, I thinking about? Would have been right without that. Yes. Uh, but yeah. So again, we uh, fed the, the mission was for a uh, feed forty families, uh, twenty in Riverside, twenty in San Bernardino. We did that uh, again. Thank you to everybody that participated. Um, unfortunately, our interns weren't there. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, yeah, they looking at us. <laughs> no, I'm playing. No, they, they do. They do great work. We appreciate our interns. But no, we had a really great time. 
Uh, it was really special. If you guys want to check out the recap video, you guys can visit it. Visit us, excuse me, at iesportsnet, iesportsnet.com, and you can see the the full video there. Uh, just kind of, just again, really thankful for the participation by Raising Cane's, um, the Boys and Girls Club of Riverside and Re uh, Riverside and Redlands, uh, the Rams, as well as the uh, uh, Fontana Summit High School. Exactly. Basketball team. And, you know, we got them, some things coming up. It's that time of year. We got some things coming up. We, you know, we're not ready to announce it yet. Uh, we will be doing the turkey. Uh, I'm sorry, the turkey, the, the toy drive. Yes. So we do that every year where we give toys away. And I'm sure we'll reconnect with the Boys and Girls Club because it was such a great experience uh, about those toys. And then we have another thing that we're going to give away. We're going to give back to the people. Uh, and, you know, like I said, this came full circle for me. When I was a kid, I remember growing up in the city uh, called Compton. Uh, until I was 13, and 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 we would we would go to food banks, right. and we would get food donated to us. We, you know, and like I said, when when I told uh, Russell Ingo from the Fontana Herald when he interviewed us, I said, "Hey, I don't have much, but it's nice to be able to give back." Oh yeah, exactly, you know? exactly, and that's one of the things for us. You know, we're not uh, what little we do have. Uh, we're, we you know, we want to make sure we extend it. And, and, you know, and, and the good the good thing is what people always tell us. And about, G Holla, I am a real Compton City G. Oh, I digress. Oh. <laughs> we're claiming kind of, I mean no, normally normally we're doing downy but I guess yes, you're feeling a little yes. froggy today yes you know? yes uh, you know so I'm ready to leap uh, but. <laughs> uh, but no uh, but anytime we get a chance I mean what I was really excited about is the uh, you saw the appreciation from the families that got to to receive the turkeys uh, number one but number two uh, the appreciation and the, uh, and I think the life changing moments that those that were distributing the turkeys had as well. Uh, right. You saw like the Rams, the, the the young kids from the Rams, even the cheerleaders came out from the Riverside Rams, as well as the players. You, and Coach Rome talked to us about that, how excited he was uh, just about ha having his boys come out there and be stewards of the community. Absolutely. Yeah, it's good stuff. You know, just on a side note, my cousin, she's on my Arrington side, uh, Shay, she always gets on me talking about, you from Compton. It's like, no, no, I'm from Downey. But I mean, she—that's that, what they, she loves oh, yeah. to. to I, it's what, if you I, can see some of the Facebook messages she sends oh. me, it's just—it's just Shay Nixon. That's that's. Uh, yeah. I, I, I have native cousins as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. So yeah, but but her brother, my my other cousin Desi, he's a lot older than me. He went to the Navy, so I wasn't around him a lot. But he was out in Ontario, and he hit me up. I, I didn't get a chance to connect because I was going to buy these turkeys. But uh, yeah, he was out here. So big ups to my cousin Shay and uh, uh, Shay Desi, and then their brother uh, Keith. No As doubt, well. no doubt about it. Yeah. So at any rate, uh, we uh, we're going to be uh, we're, we're going to be having uh, our Inland Valley, which is something really really exciting. Our Inland Valley Hall of Fame All Star San Bernardino County Volleyball Classic. Uh, really really excited about that. It's going to be uh, a, I guess we're going to split San Bernardino County up into two East and West, and then we'll have uh, the young ladies compete. It's going to be the fourth year we're doing that. Uh, I imagine it's going to take place at Summit High School this year. Is that correct, Coach B? I, right. I think so. I, I'll have to check on that just to confirm. We'll get with uh, with Rome to make sure. The good thing about it is that 215 brand, which I'm really excited about, um, we're going to roll that out as a part of the Inland Valley uh, game. So with that being said, we'll have the small schools. So we'll get the people who represent the smaller schools, like your Bloomington Christians. Um, as well as the uh, – the, the orange vistas, et cetera. Right, they'll get a chance to come out and and uh, be a part of that uh, that Inland Valley All Star Classic. So it's all good. So I'm I, I am uh, I'm excited about that. So that's that's good to go. So you know we we need to take a quick commercial break because yes. we're mumbling. Yes, we are. Uh, and again, if you guys want to make sure you guys follow the scores tonight, tonight will be a crazy night for football. Uh, CIS Southern Section uh, Championships will be taking place tonight. If you guys want to make sure you follow the scores, you can do that by visiting us at iesportsnet.com. Absolutely. And tonight, speaking of that, tonight I will be at the uh, Citizens Business Bank Arena. Um, I'll have to pull up to see who the Clippers are playing, but I will be at the Citizens Business Bank Arena. Yes. So you are listening to IE Sportsnet, protected by the Riverside Sheriff's Association with Coach B. Andy Turner, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here, live on Fox Sports 1350. We'll be right back after this. You know, who's our guy that won for the Sheriff? You're listening.
listening to iesportsnet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority. Paid non-attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto and Prodexa users. If you or a loved one has taken the blood thinning drugs Zarelto or Prodexa and suffered an injury or even died, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. Zarelto and Prodexa have been linked to internal bleeding, strokes, and pulmonary embolisms. If you or a loved one has taken these blood thinning drugs and have been hospitalized for internal bleeding, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Don't be a silent victim. Time is limited to file your claim. Call now for free information and a free consultation. Lines are open 24-7. Call 800-282-8605. That's 800-282-8605. 800-282-8605. You could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. All right, guys. We're ready for our four-season sunroom, and Daddy's going to get a rec room with refreshments. Oh, no. We'll be sleeping under the stars. Mom, what about the one with, you know, the fun? Nice try, little bro. It's a gym. My gym. Hey, Grandma's getting her Four Seasons garden room. Weather tight and still like being outdoors. Maybe a living room. Oh, no, wait. A family hub. Yeah. Yeah. No matter what the budget, the season, or the climate, Four Seasons Sunrooms let you and your family enjoy the outdoors inside. Call now to hear more about these great offers from the premier manufacturer of sunrooms since 1975. More reasons for Four Seasons now. To find out more, call toll-free 800-973-5533. That's 800-973-5533. Call 800-973-5533 today. Score Sports has been a loyal partner in the sports industry for over 40 years. Founded in 1975, Score Sports has always been a family-owned and operated business located in the heart of Southern California. They offer a full line of youth and adult soccer uniforms, accessories, and field equipment. Youth and adult basketball uniforms and accessories and equipment. Score Sports can outfit your coaches and league referees as well, and much more. Their dedication and attention to detail has transformed Score Sports into one of the leading sport uniform manufacturers in the United States. Visit their spacious warehouse at 726 East Anaheim Street in Wilmington, or call them today at 800-626-7774. That's 800-626-7774. Or visit them on the web at scoresports.com. That's scoresports.com at facebook.com slash scoresports. Or on Twitter and Instagram with the handle scoresports. That's S-C-O-R-E-S-P-O-R-T-S. Hey, football fans. Leave the Hail Marys for the game. And go for the sure thing when it comes to satisfying your craving. When you pick up Raisin Cane's for game day, all you have to worry about is the score. Because we've got the food covered with fresh, never ever frozen chicken fingers, cane sauce, and jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. Our chicken fingers are always hand battered and cooked to order. So no matter the score, you'll always win. Raisin Cane's chicken fingers, one love. Box combo, please. At Raisin Cane's, we're all about quality. We mix cane sauce in our restaurants every day. And our chicken is hand battered and cooked to order. Our Texas toast is grilled with just the right amount of butter and garlic. And our lemonade is always freshly squeezed. Love the window. And why do we do all this? Because it makes a difference. Raisin Cane's Chicken Fingers, one love. <laughs> this is Robin the Town for BlackSportsOnline.com, and I'm out here with Fox 1350. We are. Yes, we are back in the great city of Riverside at the iHeartRadio studios. I am your host, Eterno. And I am the one and only Coach B. And we're here, j- no. <laughs> and we're here jamming. You know? So and when, grooving and moving. And when it comes to jamming your sports, you know, we are the Inland Empire. Sports. Yo, the protected. conversation starts and stops right here. You protected. already said protected. I didn't say that yet. I missed that, actually. Oh, okay. Protected by the Riverside Sheriff. Follow us on FoxSports1350.com. And if you want the slow jams. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, yes. We, uh, we Again, we are live radio right here in the great city of uh, Riverside, California. Inland Empire, 
Riverside San Bernardino. We have a very special guest on the line. Looks like we got multiple callers, but we're going to go ahead and get this one caller on right now. Uh, uh Uh-oh. Okay, okay, that's why we had multiple callers, because we had another caller that hung up. Caller, you're live on air. Who would you have on the phone? Good morning. Good morning. It's Coach Anthony. This is with Kelly Lee Basketball. How are y'all doing this morning? Hey, we are doing very, very well. Coach Anthony Kelly Lee Basketball. How you doing, brother, this morning, man? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm on the, I'm on the road right now, man. Headed up to Fresno with the uh, prep school boys, getting ready to play a couple games. But uh, life is good, man. Can't complain. Do you, do, do, does he still have a house? I mean, this brother I, lives say, like, out of a sleeping bag. I am here to tell I mean, you. Uh, 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 I mean, out of out of a suitcase. suitcase yeah, I mean, yes. you you are rolling. Now, what I did see, uh, you know, we follow you on social media. This is Coach Anthony with Cali Lee Basketball. It, we, were, we were enjoying the holiday weekend. I saw you make. A, uh, a a declaration saying that your gumbo was better than ours. So, yeah. do tell about this uh, uh, this gumbo uh, uh, experience that you had over this holiday weekend. Man, the gumbo was on point. Shrimp, crab, sausage, chicken, everything you could fit, okra, all that good stuff in there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a real gumbo right there. But, no, uh, we, we wanted to make sure we had you on, on the air. Uh, obviously, we just got through. We concluded our uh, 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 turkey giveaway, got a chance to feed 40 families. Uh, but what we are excited about is we want to uh, – we've been working with you for the last five years uh, with the Toys for Tots, the toy drive, giving toys to, the, uh, uh, to kids that may not be able to experience uh, the holiday. Talk to us a little bit about that, when that date is going to happen, and, and the mission behind Cali Elite. And the Toys for Tots Toy Drive. Yeah, it's a great opportunity. You know, again, as you said, we've been partnering on this event for the last five years. Uh, we've been doing it. Uh, this is our sixth year doing it. Uh, but Cali Elite basically comes together every year. We we uh, for a tournament. And the purpose of the tournament is to uh, be able to have people bring in toys and and, and generate uh, toys for the community. So. Um, you know, ultimately, we service a community that uh, doesn't always have the financial resources to provide for itself. And so we want to make sure that we uh, we do that, um, you know, especially during the holidays, man, when times are tough. So last couple of years, we've been able to uh, uh, pick up a truckload full of toys, man, and uh, donate to uh, Cancer uh, cancer uh, Michelle's Place, which is a cancer uh, uh, center down in uh, Marietta. We donated to the Riverside uh Police Department, uh, a couple homeless shelters last year. So really great opportunity. If you're looking for an opportunity to give back to the community uh, and, and come watch some basketball at the same time, we've got our Toys for Todd tournament going on uh, next weekend, uh, December 1st and 2nd, over at Get It Done Sports Arena in Corona. Um, if you're uh, looking for more info on how you can help us support the community, uh, please reach out directly at uh, CaliEliteBasketball.com. Uh, there's information there on how you can donate, or you can contact me directly at 909-717-7031. And again, and again that's Cali Lee Basketball, Coach Anthony right there. Absolutely, and it's, it's, it's a good event, a good tournament. You know, we and the good thing is, about, and I know we have, sometimes we're looking on who we can benefit and who the toys can go to, and we have a real good connect now with the Boys and Girls Club. So that's something we definitely have to, we'll talk, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, reconvene on. But we're excited about it. We're, we're, we're excited to be out there. How many teams are we looking for? I know you've had tournaments. Uh, some of the, the big tournaments you've had have had up to 160 teams. How are we looking on the teams? Are we going to get any more international teams? you got teams from Tijuana. Yeah, you've got so, teams from the, the Caribbean. you got them from all over. <laughs> this one's a little bit more intimate, you know, we, we, uh, which, which is interesting. You know, we, we lower the price point, uh, you know, down to $200 a team and, and in exchange for the teams participating in the toy drive. But, uh, we'll have about 75 teams out, uh, you know, nothing too substantial. You know, the big the big driver here is this, this isn't an event for, you know, normally we use these events as we talk about to raise money for our program as, uh, in exchange for a fundraiser. But this is the one event that we take and we give back, you know, everything that we, we, we get out of this thing is designed to get back to our community and really teach our kids that we're blessed and we have the opportunity to be able to uh, support ourselves. And so this is something that we, we do to give back, uh, you know, so we're doing that this weekend coming up. And then the following weekend, we'll take a bunch of the kids out to uh, go and uh, feed the homeless out at the uh, L.A. Mission. So, you know, it really is, you know, a lot, like we talk about a lot, man, this, 
this basketball thing is really just a vehicle for these kids to be able to experience life. And we want to make sure that they're uh, being well-rounded, that they're taught not only, you know, the basketball stuff, uh, but the educational side, the spiritual side of servitude and giving back and making sure that they make an impact in the community. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're excited about it. And we were just talking about the 215 All-Star Games. The basketball game will be coming up soon. I don't know if you, if your people told you this or not, but Cali Elite has been tasked with putting together uh, the youth boys team. So, But that's not important right now. We're gonna, we appreciate your time. We thank you for everything you've done. And, and we'll reconvene with you about that eighth grade game that we're going to do. And uh, Cali Elite will be responsible for it. So. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I, I got you. I got you. Whatever you I mean, you know. Okay, man, thanks again. Again, that's Coach Anthony right there. Cali Elite Basketball, as he said, he's, he's already, I mean, even on a even on a Saturday where most folks are sleeping, uh-huh. he has his boys on the road yep. taking them up there and yep. uh, getting some work done. Uh, and what's, what's our guy's name that, that runs Cali Elite, the scheduling? Uh, Teray. Yeah, yeah, he's the one that, hey, they said that they would get down and help put together that great team. So well, there it is right there. So we got him tasked for that. But, again, it's going to be, ha- I want to make sure we, uh, since we're talking about basketball today, Coach B will be uh, live on the mic for the uh, the. The Black Friday uh, game with the Agua Caliente Clippers at 7 p.m. tonight. Uh, everybody that comes will get an ACC. Saturday. The what? It's Saturday, but you, keep, you said the Black Friday game. It's called the Black Friday game. On Saturday? That's, that's what they're... They call it the Black Friday. That's news to me. I did not. <clears throat> why would you call a Black Friday game on Saturday? <sighs> but keep going. Uh, at any rate. Um, yeah, to, and, and folks that come will be able to get a uh, ACC tribal hat tonight. So that's what's going on. I'm I'm excited, man. The the doors open at six. The game tips off at seven. We have some really good good players. Uh, Jerome Robinson. If you remember, when we went to media day. I think he was the seventh or eighth pick. Yes. Um, he's played a couple of games out in uh, Ontario. And 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 it's and I, I I don't why well, didn't I think about this? So last game, I'm sitting there doing my notes. I'm getting ready. I'm getting my my mic checked. I'm doing all my stuff. And I look up and I see a person. I said that dude looks familiar. It was none other than the logo. Yeah, the logo. The logo was, was there. Was in the house along with Mr. Lawrence Frank. Mr. Jerry West is the logo. Jerry Dub West in the house, uh, and he, he right now is the one of the executive advisors for uh, the L.A. Clippers. Right now, the first place uh, L.A. Clippers uh, last night took down the Grizzlies, um, and so right now the the uh, the L.A. Clippers are really doing some great stuff. Not so much in need of the um, players from the Agua Caliente Clippers as they were last year. Really, really depended on. Uh, the the players uh, coming up and and uh, the two way players coming up and contributing. Uh, however, this year really a deep team. Uh, one of the teams uh, here in the West, uh, they can almost kind of go ten deep, and uh, they're really doing a, a great job right now. I want to say the record is eleven and five or eleven and six, if I'm not mistaken. But again, uh, shout out to Clippers organization doing some great things. Absolutely. So the Northern Arizona Suns, which we'll be playing tonight. So we're ready to get that. Get your tickets. If you haven't got your tickets yet, go to acclippers.com. You can get them at the box office. Um, you know, if you if you pay the extra fee, I'll make sure I get you an autograph. But that's an extra fee. So we'll make that work. So you ready to take a quick commercial break? Quick commercial break. We'll come out. We'll come back with some big time sports news. Again, we have uh, playoffs going down tonight. All right, let's do this. You're listening to IE Sports Net, protected by the Riverside Sheriff's Association with Coach B. Andy Turner, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here live on Fox Sports 1350. You're listening to IESportsNet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority. Paid non-attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas, is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice, and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto and Prodexa users. If you or a loved one has taken the blood-thinning drugs Zarelto or Prodexa and suffered an injury or even died, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. Zarelto and Prodexa have been linked to in internal bleeding, strokes, and pulmonary embolisms. If you or a loved one has taken these blood-thinning drugs and have been hospitalized for internal bleeding, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Don't be a silent victim. Time is limited to file your claim. Call now for free information and a free consultation. Lines are open 24-7. Call 800-282-8605. That's 800-282-8605. 800-282-8605. You could be entitled to
to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. All right, guys. We're ready for our four-season sunroom, and Daddy's going to get a rec room with refreshments. Oh, no. We'll be sleeping under the stars. Mom, what about the one with, you know, the fun? Nice try, little bro. It's a gym. My gym. Hey, Grandma's getting her Four Seasons garden room. Weather tight and still like being outdoors. Maybe a living room. Oh, no, wait. A family hub. Yeah. yeah. No matter what the budget, the season, or the climate, Four Seasons Sunrooms let you and your family enjoy the outdoors inside. Call now to hear more about these great offers from the premier manufacturer of sunrooms since 1975. More reasons for Four Seasons now. To find out more, call toll-free 800-973-5533. That's 800-973-5533. Call 800-973-5533 today. Score Sports has been a loyal partner in the sports industry for over 40 years. Founded in 1975, Score Sports has always been a family-owned and operated business located in the heart of Southern California. They offer a full line of youth and adult soccer uniforms, accessories, and field equipment, youth and adult basketball uniforms and accessories, and equipment. Score Sports can outfit your coaches and league referees as well, and much more. Their dedication and attention to detail has transformed Score Sports into one of the leading sport uniform manufacturers in the United States. Visit their spacious warehouse at 726 East Anaheim Street in Wilmington, or call them today at 800-626-7774. That's 800-626-7774. Or visit them on the web at scoresports.com. That's scoresports.com at facebook.com slash scoresports. Or on Twitter and Instagram with the handle scoresports. That's S-C-O-R-E-S-P-O-R-T-S. Hey, football fans. Leave the Hail Marys for the game. And go for the sure thing when it comes to satisfying your craving. When you pick up Raisin Cane's for game day, all you have to worry about is the score. Because we've got the food covered with fresh, never ever frozen chicken fingers, cane sauce, and jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. Our chicken fingers are always hand battered and cooked to order. So no matter the score, you'll always win. Raisin Cane's chicken fingers, one love. Box combo, please. At Raisin Cane's, we're all about quality. We mix cane sauce in our restaurants every day. And our chicken is hand battered and cooked to order. Our Texas toast is grilled with just the right amount of butter and garlic. And our lemonade is always freshly squeezed. Love the window. And why do we do all this? Because it makes a difference. Raisin Cane's Chicken Fingers, one love. Scott Graham from Westwood One with a preview of Sunday Night Football. Kevin Kugler and Hall of Famer Jason Taylor are set to bring you an NFC North matchup when Kirk Cousins and the Minnesota Vikings host Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. Both are coming off a loss, and for the Packers, they're still looking for their first road win of the year. Join us and hear the NFL all season from Westwood One. Remember to listen to Westwood One's coverage of the NFL all season long. Right here on Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM. Holiday Inn Express wants to let you in on a little secret. You can now get at least 25% off at HolidayInExpress.com during our cyber sale. Book now and save at HolidayInExpress.com. Terms apply. All the best projects start at the Home Depot, and so do the best tool sets, like the Husky 268-piece mechanics tool set at a Black Friday price, a special buy of just $129. It's perfect for any up-and-coming do-it-yourselfer or garage floor mechanic. And Husky tools have a lifetime warranty, so they'll be there every step of the way. This is how to give someone all the best this year. Give a Husky mechanics tool set just $129. Now, at the Home Depot. More saving. More doing. Valid through November 28th. U.S. only. See store for details. Holiday Inn Express wants to let you in on a little secret. You can now get at least 25% off at HolidayInExpress.com during our cyber sale. Book now and save at HolidayInExpress.com. Terms apply. What's up, world? This is your favorite comic, favorite comic, Tony Rock. And you're checking out Fox Sports. We are Fox Sports. Yes, we are back in the great city of San... I, I said San Bernardino. <laughs> in the great city of Riverside at the iHeartRadio studios. Protected by the Riverside Sheriff, I am your host, E.G. 
the Eternal, and I am the one and only Coach B. You know what it comes to Inland Empire Sports. You know the conversation starts and stops here. Follow us on FoxSports1350.com. Speaking of uh, Snoop, got a hey, star. You better lay low. Yeah, you better lay low. Got a little, got a, got a star. Oh, that. I think, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave that alone. Uh, Snoop got a star. Uh, <laughs> so big shout out to Snoop. Uh, but no, we got to make sure we give a shout out to, um, to San Bernardino Valley. Uh, they did fall. They were they they were they were getting close. They were in the playoffs as well. San Bernardino Valley College in terms of football. Uh, coach, friend of the show, but they did fall to Allen Hancock. Got to make sure we shout out Armando Herrera threw for 338 um, 338 yards, four touchdowns, one interception, and then Dejan Moon had six receptions, 133 yards, and two touchdowns. Big shout out. Absolutely, man. So yeah, I'm excited. Like we said, we had a chance to to catch up. We we had a uh, it was a big week for us. The first time we want to get more involved into that uh, philanthropy and giving away turkeys was a legit thing to do. I, I'm, I'm pulling up my prom pictures. That's when I had a full clean hair, head of hair back then, baby. You know what I'm saying? He still couldn't see. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, I was I was looking I was looking smooth back in the day. You know what I mean? Uh, but that's how we do. So, but you know, like I said, we're excited about that. It, it doesn't stop there. We we. We started off, the first thing we did, we, we gave away scholarships, and we, you know, Eternal Eye, as well as Coach Ron, we said that's not enough. What more can we do? And we decided we, well, one of the things we kicked off was the honors last year, and we will be bringing that back. And then we said, hey, we're going to give away turkeys, um, and then we're trying to work on something else. I don't want to put it out there just yet, but we're working on another thing big if we can get it. Um, but we know we're going to do the toy drive. And the Boys and Girls Club, I know that we, we can definitely speak with them, and they would love to get involved with uh, what we're doing on that as well. No question. And, and I, like we said, uh, what's coming up on the calendar right now is the uh, the fourth annual uh, Inland Valley Classic Volleyball Match. And, and again, that's going to be uh, uh, young ladies, all-stars uh, in San Bernardino County are going to be competing. And then we, we just added to the San Bernardino game, uh, the 215 game, which will be the uh, smaller schools in both Riverside and San Bernardino County competing as well. So we're really excited about it. Uh, it's going to be um, uh, something uh, uh, we've added that uh, the the game prior before we used to do a youth game mm -hmm. uh, we used to do a youth game where the the youth uh, clubs would come out and compete. Mm -hmm. um, however, we've gotten a, a big push about uh, more high school uh, participation. Right. So so again, so really excited about that. That's something that uh, uh, Coach Rome kind of heads that, and so that'll be taking place in December. And then uh, following uh, in, in the next the following month in January. Uh, which is really, really uh, something that's uh, near and dear to us. We'll be hosting our San Bernardino County uh, Inland Valley Classic uh, Hall of Fame football game. Uh, and then we'll be hosting the Riverside County, the Riverside Sheriff's Association, uh -huh. Riverside County All-Star football game, as well as. Keep your point. The 2 fit in. There you go. The 2 fit in. The 2 fit in. Uh, yeah, exactly. I, I, try to, I try to give him the alley. You, he, he just, yeah, you know, yeah. he ain't know what to do with the pill. You know, uh, you but, know, yeah, but the two fifteen game. It was like I, I choked with the ball, kind of like Dak Prescott. But um, no, no, we won the game. You know, <laughs> we won. I don't know what you're talking but about. I'm just saying. Dakota you know? Prescott took it into and and, 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 and and straight swan dive up oh, in the end. Don't, don't get me started. I'm sorry, I did it like Jason Garrett. You're right. You're right. Jason um, Garrett coached up a game. Thank you. Oh Kyle. wow. And he claps. One in eight years, but it's good for him, man. Um, Whatever. but that's not important, man. <laughs> but that's not important. But we're excited. Like we said, man. I, we the sheriffs, the Riverside Sheriffs Association. We know that they're going to be in studio with us yes, soon. Yes. We had a ch chance to talk to Mr. Bill Young. We talked to uh, Mr. Masson as well. Uh, they're excited. Uh, Chad Binko? Bianco. Bianco. Make Bian sure make, make sure I, I, right? Right? <laughs> Sheriff-elect Chad Bianco. Uh, we, we're going to see if we can't get him. If not in studio, we're going to try to get him out to, the, to one of the games. Yes. And, and, again, we're really excited. Without um, their participation, a lot of this, which you're – well, a lot of this with some of these kids parents are experiencing would not be possible so again we're very very appreciative uh, of them and their contribution uh got to make sure we mention uh today just a really really huge day um college football but let me tell you something in high school football inside the grass tonight big big game and i'm gonna start it off with the with the bell ringer upland and rancho verde game will be taking place right on the border of perry and marino valley uh, Upland, I mean, baseline league, juggernaut, knocked off Rancho, knocked off everybody else, and they are ready to go. And uh, they're playing in the CIS Southern Second Championship Division Two tonight at 730. You guys can watch that, uh, I believe, on Fox Sports West, if I'm not mistaken. 
Um, and then also, there's going to be a, a couple other games that are taking place tonight. Uh, 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 Highland, which is not our Highland. It's a different Highland. Uh -huh. We'll be taking on our Elsinore. Uh -huh. Excited about that. And then I got to make sure we ain't talking about this. Let me let me get let me let me let me get a little drum roll. Oh this, man, I'm here every week. This no this this, this brother yeah. right here, no need to Google him, cause we're here. Uh huh. Division twelve. Uh huh. Took some losses. Uh huh. Was undefeated. Was well, actually took one loss. Uh -huh. Undefeated most of the whole season. Uh huh. I mean, putting up putting up basketball numbers on some people. I thought we were gonna say never lost. We was gonna. Go, I was close to saying never lost, but did never lose, lost. Did lose one time. Oh, I was going to say, I'm going to check something on, on my... I know we're live, but I was well, going we, to... No, we, you can't check that we're live. Yeah, I got to check that. I'm going to check that. What are you doing? I, I got to check that. We're, we're live right now. I, I, yeah, we'll go live. It's all good. Go oh, ahead. Jesus my bad. Christ my bad. It's guy. all good. Oh, <laughs> this guy just ruined But go ahead. My bad. Oh, boy. I have some important, I have some important announcements. Linfield Christian, Deshaun Burns, and company are taking on Artesia tonight, and we are pulling. With the Inland Empire, Artesia. Where are they going to be at? Linfield Christian. And you know, Burns asked if you're going to be there. I'm not going to be there. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm, come on now. Unfortunately, I won't be able to be there. But he never lost. No, he has lost. Okay. All right. Yes, he has lost. Uh, maybe maybe when you stop the live video, if you would have pulled right. that up on your phone. <laughs> <clears throat> That's anyway. what I was trying to I, I, I had a, I had some stuff. Go ahead. My bad. Anyway. I was saying. Sitting in front of a computer with access to the internet and so forth. That's but I did At any rate. Uh, but yeah, but no, we're really excited about that. Again, big, big time, big night for football. Uh, again, Division Two Upland uh, Rancho Verde, Division uh, Ten Eisenhower and Highland, not our Highland, and then oh, I got I would be remiss not to mention Division Seven, uh, Culver City and San Jacinto will be competing. It's going to be a great night for Inland Empire football. You guys can uh, follow the conversation, follow the scores, the live scores by visiting iSportsNet.com. Absolutely. So yeah, we're excited about that, man. It's going to be a great night of football. As I'm excited about it. Great night of basketball as we get ready for the Agua Caliente Clippers of Ontario. Like I say, make sure you come out tonight. Check out the basketball game. I mean, it's affordable tickets, affordable prices. Go to um, acclippers.com if you need to get tickets. And they're really cheap tickets. You know what I mean? Yes, they are. Uh, and again, I just want to make sure, man, we say thank you to everybody because we're getting ready to to wrap up here. Thank you, everybody, that, that tunes in with us every Saturday morning. We really appreciate that. Big shout out to our interns. Uh, as well as the families that we were able to uh, to help. Uh, again, very, very appreciative that Absolutely. we were able to go out there and do that. And thanks so, so much for our partners, Raising Canes, uh, Boys and Girls Club of uh, Redlands and, and Riverside, Riverside Rams, as well as Summer High School Basketball. Absolutely. And I thank you to, uh, as I said, Russell Ingold. He always shows, uh, he always uh, supports us in everything we do. So we certainly appreciate that. I, I hope everybody appreciated or, or, or had a good time with their uh, Thanksgiving. I hope everyone was out there safe. So make sure you guys get back to work Monday safe. Yes. And again, yeah, thank you guys so much, man. We appreciate it. Thanks, everybody. Again, enjoy a great day of football as we are still uh, on our holiday weekend spin. And uh, again, as, as I, uh, I'll second what Coach B said, once make sure y'all are safe out there. Don't drink and drive. Absolutely. So let's go ahead and do this. You ready to go? Let's do it. Let's go. Thank you for listening to IE Sportsnet, protected by the Riverside Sheriff's Association with Coach B. Andy Turner, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you and I know the conversation starts and stops here, live on Fox Sports 1350. Let's do this. You can't take away my dignity. Be called the great S. Love of all inside of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sexy chocolate. Sexy chocolate. That boy is good. Damn, that boy can sing. You must be crazy. He good. You're listening to IESportsNet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority.